If your vehicle is fitted with a fully adjustable Isringhausen driver's seat, it will feature the following adjustments. For your safety, it is vitally important the vehicle is stationary before making any seat adjustments. The air dump valve. Gently press the top of the button once seated to return the seat to the ride height. To improve entry and exit clearance, press the bottom of the button down to lower the seat. Shock absorber adjustment. Gently push the lever down for a firmer suspension or stiffer ride. Lift the lever for a softer suspension or floating ride. Seat height adjustment. Gently pull the lever up to raise the seat height. Gently push the lever down to lower the seat height. Backrest adjustment. First apply light pressure to the backrest. Then gently lift the lever up and lean rearward against the backrest or lean forward to adjust the backrest incline. Air lumbar support. The cluster contains three switches that adjust the upper, lower and side lumbar support. Pressing the top of each switch increases the support and pressing the bottom of each switch decreases the support. The front switch adjusts the lower lumbar chamber. The middle switch adjusts the upper lumbar chamber. The rear switch adjusts the side bolsters. Seat cushion adjustment. The seat cushion can be adjusted fore and aft. Gently pull the lever up while sitting on the seat and push the hips forwards or backwards to move the seat cushion to the desired position. Seat tilt adjustment. To tilt the front of the seat up, gently pull the lever up and lean back on the backrest. To tilt the front of the seat down, gently pull the lever up and lean forward on the seat. Release the lever to lock. Seat slide adjustment. Lift the slide handle and slide the seat backward or forward to the required position. Release the handle to lock. Armrest adjustment. To lower the armrest, wind the rotator towards the passenger door. To raise the armrest, wind the rotator towards the driver's door.